Hey everyone, this is Puneet and welcome back to Design Weekly, week 2. Now last time we spoke about um, Adobe XD's cool new features and I showed you how to auto animate your designs and also work on timed transitions. But this week I'm back with another design tutorial about another new feature in Adobe XD called voice commands now that is pretty cool just by by you know hearing voice commands it seems cool but today i'm going to teach you uh, how to use voice commands in your uh, little projects or in your uh, you know ai based applications and stuff like that so you can you know show off your skills to other people and how you can use voice commands to change stuff in your designs uh, so let's get started so first of all i have everything ready up for you guys here i uh, it's everything is ready everything is ready to go i have uh, three different states here for this uh, little um, micro animation so as to say and everything here has been designed by me so I will be linking down this entire design file uh, as an Adobe XD file down in the description. So uh, please go ahead and download it. And if you want to design side by side, you can do that as well. So first of all, let's see what we have here. First is the microphone uh, icon, uh, a little icon I made, um, you know, and uh, this icon represents uh, you know your speech if you're speaking something it'll recognize it or it's waiting for your speech that is what it represents here and this is a little car uh, I'm sorry it is a little card uh, that I made um, in Adobe XD as well and it's a little cool design to represent how hot it is outside and what kind of temp weather it is sunny cloudy whatever and also like a little coat uh, telling you what to take with you if if it's raining it'll be a raincoat or an umbrella and a little uh, menu icon at the bottom super simple super clean um, the rest is for you guys to decide what you want to have in your designs you can obviously manipulate this there is no copyright <laughs> so uh, let's get started with this little design since we ha have everything in place all we need to do is just drag and drop so I'm going to create a new artboard here, which is the same as the same size as above. And uh, we're going to have the same color as above here. So I'm just going to use the color picker and just pick this up. And um, we are going to have we're going to drag this, copy this over to this side. Now, let us place this in the center just for now. OK, this is not like a professional design you guys are seeing. Uh, but it's it's a little something that you know you can work on here you go and um, we will now drag this or just duplicate this artboard saying control D or command D and it will duplicate it so this is the first artboard where everything will start we will click on this click on prototype and we will set this as the home if you click this as home the prototype will always start there if you didn't know that you know there's something new for you so if i click on this here uh, i need a new state so let's say uh, the size increases however uh, there'll be something else in store we will just decrease the opacity so it increases in size but decreases in opacity and we will drag this little guy from over here to over here and in that little guy other little guys place we're gonna place this little guy <laughs> okay so that that's that's about all right all right and uh, we will duplicate this artboard again control D or command D for your Mac users out there and we will copy this entire we will copy this from there to here in fact we'll just copy the entire thing drag and just drop it here we must make sure that everything is centered properly otherwise um, you know it, it won't it won't transition as well log this and we're gonna delete the back portion here yep 
and one more time uh, control D or command D to duplicate it and we now have this now instead of this we want to have this so we just copy this over and place it in the center again as usual we're lo gonna log this down and we're just gonna delete the rest oh god okay <laughs> okay so uh, this is I've made this a little complex for myself I have to unlock everything again um, and we're gonna also unlock this oops okay now I'm not sure where this goes okay See, everybody has hurdles uh, while designing stuff, so it's okay. Okay, this one was locked. Cool, cool. Wait. <laughs> now wait. <laughs> okay, not this one. We're gonna have to select this guy. Oof. Okay. Uh, one down, just so that I... Two, three, four. Oh. Come on. Okay, now I got it. I got it. I got it. And delete it. One, two, three, four. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So we have this now, and um, everything uh, is set up according to what is planned. A uh, little artboard here. And now we're going to make one last artboard where our actual data or information will pop up. So I'm just going to click on this and say Control or Command D. And uh, what we're going to do is we are gonna make this fade away. I'm just gonna reduce the opacity completely zero. And we're gonna make this little guy, uh, this microphone little guy, uh, appear again. Let me just remove, get this out of the way. And we're gonna make this little microphone guy come here. Perfect. The microphone is back here, and that means you can you know fiddle with it or do whatever you want with it. Um, now we're going to bring this card, which is not being grouped, foolish of me. Um, but we're just going to group this right away and copy it right here. Uh, this will bring out a card in the center, right above the microphone, so you know it's uh, contextual. And you can click on this again to get a new card. Okay, so this is here. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this to the previous artboard because that is the way it should be and we are gonna reduce the opacity and bring it three three spaces down one two three and that'll make like a cool little uh, pop transition maybe uh, five four five <laughs> okay that'll make a little cool uh, animation slash transition and this this should be this app now should be ready all we're gonna, gonna do is just click here on the microphone okay I don't know what's the problem here click on the microphone to start this animation uh, tap auto animate correct correct ease it and out we're gonna do snap for just this one and 0.4 seconds and everything is already set to you know animate the entire thing here but we are only animating stuff here so if you really want to um, you know um, bring out uh, the weather uh, we have to use voice transitions here so for this one last slide what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna okay I'm a little stuck here <laughs> okay so this transition and animation is really cool uh, I'm a little confused myself this will happen to you as well so it's okay. It is okay to be confused sometimes about designs and about how things work. So this animation is really cool. Uh, you know, there's nothing bad about it. It's really, really cool. But uh, we're gonna have to uh, have another way to get this done. Uh, so from here, we are gonna drag this arrow to here. So from this, we will detect, this is the last slide. And after this, we will detect um, the voice and get this card here so here in the drag in the drop down we have an option called voice so we just click voice and here is where you put the command which will bring you to this uh, next artboard so let's say weather I've put in, in weather and it should detect 
if I say weather, it should uh, do this little auto animate here. So that's the trigger, ease in out, 0.4 seconds, perfect. Uh, now I will switch and uh, hopefully get uh, the results I really wanted. Now that I'm in my desktop preview, um, let's give this a shot. Now when I'm saying something uh, to my computer, I want to be pressing spacebar holding down spacebar while I'm saying it and leave the spacebar in a couple of seconds the voice command should do something <laughs> let's do this weather and there you go uh, it does take a couple of seconds um, maybe because Adobe XD is uh, th this feature is in an early stage. It's uh, it, it just came out about about one or two months back, and it's still being developed on. But it should be faster for you uh, in uh, other situations, like if you have if you were like a native English speaker, or um, I'm from India, so my accent is a little mixed up. <laughs> it's, it's a little crazy, so maybe that is why it doesn't pick up that quick. But that was a little tutorial on how to get uh, uh, things started with voice commands on Adobe XD. Uh, if you have any feedback or if you'd like to see something different from me, uh, do write something down in the comments below also like this video share it with all your design friends and maybe your design groups uh, and also subscribe to my channel because that goes a long way I hope you have a great day a great week ahead and keep designing peace